Hey everybody, this is Brendan Fox from the Exercise Therapy Association and I'm here to share with you some wisdom that can help you evolve and continue to service your clients despite the challenging times we're in. So, right now we've been advised to participate in social distancing which means that our clients are encouraged not to go to the gym and where does that leave us? As fitness professionals, we're typically paid by the session so financially, we're going to take a hit, but also our client's fitness is going to take a hit. So one of the solutions that I've used successfully and that I've been doing since 2012 is to coach people remotely without meeting with them in person. And I'm going to show you a simple and easy way you can apply this. First, reach out to your clients and pitch this as an experiment. Say, hey, I'd like you to try something new. This will help you keep your fitness on board uh, so you can continue to move forward with your fitness goals during this time. And uh, I'd like to set up a time and you just give them a time and a date. So you pitch it as an experiment so they don't feel like they have to lock into this new style of training. And then it's up to you to show them the value in it. Uh, one thing to consider is, you know, it's easy for people to achieve their fitness goals when circumstances are easy. But if you want to be Superman, you've got to learn how to fly in the rain. And so we need to get the point across to clients that you've got to figure out a way to make it work, even when it's not so easy to do it. And I have a solution that's going to help you out. So one of the things I do is I take all of my workouts and I organize them into binders by phase. So I can easily grab some workouts out of these sheets. This is, a, for example, a foundation phase binder. Um, I've also got a build phase binder with build phase workouts. I've got my burn phase binder right here with all the burn phase workouts. I've got sports specific phase binder here. It's got all the hockey, golf workouts, skiing, everything else. And then I've got the program add-ons. These are just the bonus finishers. So within these binders, I try to figure out what protocols will match the workout tools that a client has. And right now I know it can be limited because a lot of them may not have a whole lot available to them. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll take a handout. Let's say it is this one, just by random chance. This is the Moscow Squid. I will take a handout and I will on my phone shoot a video walkthrough. The video walkthrough will take about 10 minutes and I literally just take my sheet read it and demo everything. And then I will save it, I'll upload it to YouTube and I'll send them a link. For example, if I take a sheet like this, I might say, okay, here we go, this is the Moscow Squid. Exercise number one is standing side leg raises, stand next to a wall, turn your foot inward, okay, just like this, raise the leg up and out to the side, moving only from the ball and socket of the hip joint. Do not let your foot turn outward, that's a common mistake. Keep the foot turned in. Do that for 60 seconds, time it on your phone. Exercise number two might be something like a calf raise. I might tell them to hold on to a wall, lift your heel all the way up and down. You're gonna do that for 60 seconds each. And I just walk them through the sheet in the video and then I send them the video link. After that, I send them uh, an electronic copy of the workout sheet. So what a client will do is they'll review the workout sheet They'll view my video walkthrough, and then we have a set appointment time for a phone call. And during that phone call, I'll go over any questions they might have. They might say, oh, I don't have uh, access to a bench or anything like this, and I'll, I'll suggest use a couch or a chair instead. So I help them with troubleshooting. Um, I may make a few modifications. I tell people that, you know, it's really important. I want to help you find the exercises you're gonna enjoy most. I let clients know that because enjoyment is a huge motivator. So if a client says, I absolutely can't stand, you know, your uh, hand switch push-ups or whatever it is, then I'll say, no problem, we can exercise those muscles in a different way, let's try the next experiment. That way the clients know that I'm on board with them to make it as fun as possible, all right? So I make, make some substitutions that way. But otherwise, you know, oftentimes just with the handout and the video walkthrough alone, 
your clients are good. They'll be like, hey, Brendan, no need to call. Everything was perfect. It was very crystal clear. And then sometimes they call and they just want to go over a few quick and easy things. Usually with a phone call, it's maybe half an hour. And then, you know, your other half an hour is all your prep time and everything else. So it still works out to be about an hour. You can bill it as you would a normal session during this time and just let them know that this is a service you're offering right now, exclusively right now. Normally this service is billed out at two sessions, two credits per appointment, okay? But right now it's one for one, so you're getting it at a premium based on the circumstances, but this is a for a limited time only. And when the gyms open up, you're going back to training people at the gym, okay? So once again, I would suggest that during this time you email all of your clients and you pitch an experiment. The experiment is doing a virtual training session. Film a video walkthrough on your phone. You can upload it to YouTube or any other site if you want. Send them a paper copy over email. Arrange a time to do a phone call. Uh, and if you do need workout sheets like this, the exercise therapy membership site is full of them. And I'm going to be uploading a whole bunch more just to stock you guys up because we don't know how long we're going to be in this situation and we want to help you keep your business active and we want to help you keep your clients active. So if you don't have handouts and stuff like this, by all means, uh, check out our membership site. It's very, very, uh, very affordable, huge value. I think it's only like 14 bucks a month or something like that. And you're going to have access to tons of these things that you can use to keep your business flourishing at this time. Uh, and then after that, once again, um, after trying out this experiment, you know, you may have 30% of your clients say, no, I'm just not into it right now. They may come around. They're going to get cabin fever. A lot of them will give you some token resistance. Message them again in a week. Once they feel like a disgusting slob, then you can actually pitch the experiment again. You might find some of your clients will bite on offer number one. Some of them will require two offers before they agree. Just know that. They have a token resistance. You just have to get rejected on the idea one time. Next time you bring it up, they'll agree to it. Maybe it'll be three times. But you should be prepared to pitch this experiment three times to every single client. Knowing that just because they say no the first time doesn't mean they won't change their mind as they realize that they're not as self-motivated as they thought. Everybody needs accountability. That's why we have the profession of personal training. People are more motivated to not let their coach down than they are to let themselves down. It's easy to break a promise to themselves. Okay? So, once again, I'm Brendan Fox from the Exercise Therapy Association. Here are some tips and tricks. We hope this will help you get through these hard times. We're all in this together, myself included, and I'm rooting for you in the game of life.